I'm extremely proud of the community at Maipalonga. They're quite unique. It's becoming a lifestyle to be at Maipalonga, but it's interspersed with industry and initiative. I'm seeing young people, uh, middle-aged people, having a go, creating new enterprises in agriculture, and that's fastly becoming an identity for Maipalonga as, as a village. My name's Lainey and I love living at Maipo because I love going to school and seeing all my friends and the communities here is really nice. We've been associated with the Maipalonga growing area for those 21 of those years. Seasonally we do mandarins, oranges, peaches, avocados, pumpkins. It's a fruit bowl. It's, it's, it's more like to us, the people that we deal with year in year out, it's, it's a small family to us. In the last 10 years, we've seen a real shift in that people are coming back to Maipalonga because they want their children to be able to come to our school and also take advantage of the things that the community offers. Been here growing onions for 30 years, growing up around the farm, raised my family on the farm with my brother's family as well. We've been heavily involved in the local sporting clubs and that's been a good environment to grow up in. My place has always been home and all I ever wanted to do was move home and start the farm again. I met my wife Molly in Adelaide and then luckily she followed me back to Maipalonga where we've now got our two kids. The sports club is a strong meeting place for, for all clubs but also for the district because people know this, it gives us an identity in the area. This and the school are two areas that hold Maipalonga together. We started off with 60 cows, now we milk 500 cows. We've found Maipalonga to be a lovely quiet spot, great community strength and uh, it's been lovely to raise our families and even now we have our grandchildren. After the Millennium Drought when the water restrictions were on and the river banks were slumping and there was no uh, irrigation water, people had to think outside the square a little bit and the growers changed focus on what they were going to grow and all these little niche markets have popped up now and it's great to see all the young ones coming back and buying these blocks. Due to droughts and uh, lack of rainfall we developed into irrigation, started growing onions some 45, 50 years ago. The support from the community is incredible. We've had a couple of setbacks in health over, over time and as soon as there's a sniff of people needing help, everyone gets involved. I've lived here for the whole 29 years of my life. Recently built a property out here about three years ago. Maipalong is becoming very popular with families due to the local school and sporting community. We process the fruit and value add. We chocolate dip, we dry it, jams, chutneys, slices. Now we run a 26 car museum uh, with six bikes, a small cinema and also doing a convention centre. It's a community, everybody does everything for anybody, um, at any time anyone needs any help, they're here and uh, it's, it's the very soul of my existence basically. One of our biggest products is honey that we produce, the best sellers is orange blossom honey, we've got our bees at the moment on oranges at our next door neighbour's place.